was very ill prepared. I realized that when I walked in with a little um, this bag here to put my things in and the ladies in front of me were literally dragging rolling suitcases <laughs> behind them. Hi guys, it's Faith and today I want to do a really quick haul for you guys. It um, is what I picked up at the homeschool used book sale thing that I went to. <laughs> I've never been to one before. I was very ill prepared. I realized that when I walked in with a little um, this bag here to put my things in and the ladies in front of me were literally dragging rolling suitcases <laughs> but, um, you live you learn it's kindergarten I didn't need a ton of curriculum um, this year so I'm just gonna show you what I got first thing that I got is actually what I went there looking for I only was able to find one set so I was kind of bummed about that and it's not even a complete set which I was a little bummed about because I didn't open it and really look through it with it being I don't know with it being Christian co-op or whatever I just didn't think to do that I felt like it was being rude or something if I looked through each one to make sure they were all there they're not but that's okay um so this is a Bob books set as you can see there I paid five dollars for this set I am a little bummed because it's not a complete set but um there is quite a few in there as you can see so I'm excited about this Logan is just starting to read and um, these are like right where he is at level wise so I'm excited about those and the next set of first readers that I got is this um, Lego phonics set I'm so excited about these. Logan is a bit of a reluctant reader so I'm hoping that these will inspire him a bit he really likes Lego he really likes Batman so um, I'm hoping that these will do the trick for him. I'll, uh, the problem I found with a lot of first readers, at least like if you're ordering them online or something, if you can't open them and actually look at the kind of words that are in there, some of them are not truly first um, readers. And these are a little bit above. Well, they're they're definitely above where he is right now. Like he he's not reading. Um, He's just doing beginning sounds, like blending sounds like cat and bat and hat and dog and those kind of words. He's not doing silent E's yet. He's not doing like um, sorry, um, things like that. But we will get there and we have these. So I'm hoping it gives him a little something exciting to work towards because he really does not care for the Bob books at all. Um, but I know that they're good practice for him. If you have any suggestions of those kind of books, please put them in the comments below because I'm really looking for something that will engage him. Excuse the cat back there. That is the prodigal cat, by the way. He disappeared for an entire month after we moved to this new house. And um, through social media, we were reconnected. And he obviously has just made himself at home again. There was a bin of books that I think it was four for a dollar. Um, four or three for a dollar, I can't really remember. But this is what I picked up. I picked up The Gruffalo. My kids just love this book. I don't know why, but they love it. I could sit there and read it over and over again and they just love it. Everybody knows the story of The Gruffalo, probably. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It's just the story of The Gruffalo and they really like that one. So I picked that up. Um, I also picked up this Christmas book, which I haven't read yet, Home for Christmas. I tend to buy Christmas books whenever I see them. I really liked the pictures in here. If you can see that, they're just really interesting to look at. There's a lot of detail on each picture, um, so I like that. But I, um, for Christmas, I um, give the kids a book a day to read. I put up our Christmas books when it is the off season. That way they're kind of new or new to them. Um, when we read them but each day we'll bring out a new Christmas book for the season and we'll read it together so I'm always trying to find Christmas books to add to our collection so I grabbed this. I picked up this three in one book I remember reading this when I was a kid so that's why I got this this um, talks about the parts of the apple and it compares them to the parts of God how it's one apple but there's three separate parts how God is one but there are three parts in the Trinity so I thought that was just really cute um, I never forgot got this um, as an adult so I had to pick this up because it was just kind of nostalgic for me and then this book I picked up for 25 cents and the sweet lady I actually didn't have any quarters I only had bills and she didn't have change so she's like oh just go ahead and take it for free um, I was able to get change though and give it back to her the quarter that I owed her but this is just a um, in search of King Tut's tomb I just picked this up because Logan right now is really interested in ancient Egypt and mummies and and sarcophaguses so I was really looking something for pictures I don't I have no idea what kind of 
reading level like if this is even gonna be something that I'm gonna actually be reading with him but I thought it'd be really interesting to look at he really likes hieroglyphics and um, it has like a little decoder hieroglyphics thing in here so I thought that he would really like that and then this next book that I picked up I believe was in that first bin I think I'm not 100% sure this is my first book about Ohio um, Ohio is a state that we homeschool in and we are required to teach Ohio history as one of our subjects so I picked this up it's not um, it's not been used it's like uh, just like a little activity book there's questions to answer and color pictures to color and things like that so I think we'll definitely be able to utilize this book obviously he's not gonna be reading it by himself but he can read and answer the questions and color the pictures and do the activities like that so I'm excited to use this in our homeschool this year the next book that I picked up was also in that bin of however many books for a dollar um, this is God's uh, what is this God's wisdom for little boys I have heard a lot of good things about this book and even when I picked it up out of the bin somebody was next to me and she's like oh I've heard such great things about that book so um I, I'm kind of excited about it I kind of looked through it and it seems I mean it's fine it's cute it's cute it is cute it's poems it's a book of poems it says for little boys but really I think it's for anyone so I don't know about that <laughs> but um I'm trying to find a page here to show you okay it's just little little really really short poems um, of different things like being helpful being thankful being kind um, having self-control being brave being cheerful like those kind of little things they are really really short though so I feel like this might be a little bit young for Logan like I wish they were a little bit longer um, I like my book of children's virtues or whatever that one's called better than this one but I mean we'll still read through this and then I will probably pass it along to somebody else because it's just a little shorter than what I like I mean I can sit there and read through it and read several of them I suppose but I kind of like to just focus in on one subject at a time or one theme at a time so um, but yeah it's cute um, if you pair it up with some other things but they are really really short so just keep that in mind like we're talking like two sentences or like a paragraph <laughs> and that's about it for the poem. And then the last thing that I picked up was actually this poster I was so excited to find this I've been looking for this on or looking at this online and it's just more than I wanted to spend so I picked it up for two dollars and it's the books of the Bible and it has them all broken up into the letters and the law books and history and major minor prophets gospels and I just think it's really interesting I was hoping to um, hoping and planning on incorporating learning the books of the Bible in our school year I know songs um, that I learned as a kid for um, the books of the Bible and I'm planning on using teaching my kids those songs as well so I thought this would be a great visual I know it is loud down there I'm sure you can probably hear my kids but they are having fun they are playing and those are happy noises I assure you um, they're in our playroom which is like right off of our bedroom so that is what I picked up in my homeschool haul at the um, used homeschool curriculum sale <laughs> so I just wanted to show you really quickly what I picked up and yeah I'm still kind of gathering things together and putting together a plan for our first year of homeschool again this is kindergarten so I'm not gonna be super heavy on curriculum um, and most of our books as far as read alouds and things like that we pick up from the library I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe that way I can see you in future videos thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one